welcome back everyone to another episode of your daily dose i'm your host pb and today today we are going to do something a little bit different because of course everybody knows that the i guess additional game feature is being released and you know why not why not it's um i i really it's it's just one of those weird things where they just keep giving more crap to do. <laughs> it's like they want you to ascend your um, tactics. And it's fine, you know, because at the same time, eh, it's okay. I mean, you're getting percent based. I feel like if we were to talk about the difference between the mythics and the legendaries, I do have some legendaries. Do I have, I have one legendary. Um, if you were to go through this process... I believe it is a 1% difference. So uh, for some of them, it's 1%. Uh, some of the mythics are a little bit higher, so that's okay. But these ones give attack. They give HP and, of course, defense. It is worthwhile doing. We all know that percent based is the best base in the game. Um, if you are going to do it, I would focus on doing your DPS ones first. And basically, uh, you need these little ones, so the little red ones, and we're going to talk about how to get them, but... Why don't we just go ahead and rank this up? So that's full, and then you need the legendary one. So why don't we go ahead and rank that one up? And that's full. And then last but not least, you actually need the mythic ones. So I believe these are the ink quills, and you need 10 of those. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> just like magic, you do have the ability to upgrade. So is the power up worth it? Probably not, but in the end it will be because eventually once you get to around the third upgrade You will start to get the um, percentage base look 8% HP is nothing to sneeze at 12% attack at the very end Of course, it's nothing to sneeze at you do need a bucket load of these things But I would focus on one and then stick with that one um, Because like I said, it, it's going to be a while since it's, it's just going to be a while <laughs> you need 60 of these uh, at the second rank and of course you need 20 of the um, mythic ones for the final rank so why don't we go to and throw in these ones and of course they give you raw statistics anyway but in order to grab those it'll tell you to go to the library contest and they of course are the sky brushes so for those that have been sleeping under a rug basically the library contest is available and it is a weekly event. It does go for the seven days, I believe, uh, from what I can understand anyway. Honestly, it's it's really just like any other game mode. <laughs> Do it. 15 per day, a total of 75 stages. Uh, challenge attempts will, be, will not be reduced if you fail. Basically, it's just going to let you try multiple ways. Each player gets five journeys per day, and basically those journeys give you strategies. Um, and of course items that you can use to upgrade your actual tactics uh, but basically basically the higher that you get the better rewards you get and of course that means that some of the uh, abilities or the tactics that you can utilize um, do get unlocked as well so midnight monday i think is where they get reset um, players that clear more stages rank higher and basically it's just like any other event i will say this if you want to like try to farm this out, the strategies is a little bit confusing. So middle strategy strategies are level one by default and can be leveled up to level one to two. Two identical military strategies are needed. So basically you need to get duplicates um, from level two to level three, three identicals. Basically strategies, uh, you can be leveled up. You can rank them up. And we're going to talk a little bit about that. Um, journey rules, each player can go five journeys per day. After each journey, you receive military strategies and other items. Deploy military strategies wisely to increase your stats and clear stages more easily. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Um, higher levels unlocked at stage 20. And of course, then there's 30 and 40, 50. And I think that's the highest one is level 5. You'll get military strategies and other items uh, during the high level journeys, which we're going to do together. Basically... It, it's it's pretty self-explanatory um and these are all level one so if we wanted to upgrade the level ones how would we go about doing it pb 
Will we have to potentially get some more of these ones? Oh, it's telling me that I can level them up. Fantastic. So if I want to level them up, it must mean that I've got an, a couple of these throughout the journey. But before we do that, we might as well do our journeys for the day. So every single day you come in here and these ones are what you can get. Um, tap the screen and you just keep tapping the screen. I don't believe you actually select any of these things. Like uh, I'm pretty sure that it's just congratulations. You've won these rewards. And this is where you're going to get your duplicates from. And of course you are going to get some other resources, which is fantastic. At the end of it, it is different though. Sometimes I get the damaged ones. Other times I don't. Um, and you can, you can't really read them, which is kind of interesting. Um, I'm going to go with this one though. It looks, it looks kind of cool. It looks kind of cool. Uh, this is the love heart one, right? This is going to let me during the three first three rounds, no front front front, front row allied heroes receive more than max 50% damage in a single round. So this is kind of like a, it's kind of like a little bit of a, an avoidance one, isn't it? Um, of course this is damage increase. We all know that one. This is attack and defense. This is damage reduction. This one, I believe, is damage reduction as well. What's this one? At the start of battle, grants front row allied heroes a shield of max HP. When hero shield is broken, deals damage to a random column. This one, every time a hero takes action, attack and defense of this hero increase 20%, stacks up to three times, and one D buff will be removed from this hero. Interesting. Very interesting. Receive damage from Divine Beast, negative 30%. Um, they do have Divine Beast in this tower. Damage received from weapons, minus 30%. Damage increase, pretty stock standard. Um, but these are the kind of rewards that you will get. And you should just be doing this anyway. And I feel like if we really want to get into it, we might as well just start to upgrade some of these ones. So if we wanted to upgrade the current ones that I'm using, we want to level you up. How do we level you up? Basically, we just click the tab. And it's pretty much that simple. <laughs> I don't feel like we need to get too complicated in it. Um, obviously, they all have the ability to do it. So you can level that one up to level two. And I think the increases are pretty significant. So if I'm not mistaken, that's 100%. It went from like 40 to 100. So that's quite large. Uh, what about the crit? This will go to 100. 120% for the upgrade of the crit. Um, accuracy. I mean, if you're lacking accuracy, pick the accuracy one every single time. Um, block, eh, kind of not that great. Not that great. I'm not going to lie. I wouldn't mind trying to, um, sort of use some of these other cool abilities. It would have been easier, I guess, to read it from here. Um, ignores defense. Basically it has an ability to like mitigate attack from front row. Is there anything else that could be interesting? Interesting combinations though. Do I have these? Can I utilize you? Can I deploy you is the question. I mean, do I even want to deploy you? Uh, eh, we can, we can, we can test you out. The problem with this is, um, I'm way too strong for the earlier levels. So <laughs> we'll see. I'm just going to go with the damage increase. Look, when in doubt, go damage increase, go accuracy. Um, these guys are basically going to die in about three seconds. Yes. And then they get resurrected and then they get this stupid shield. And then basically you have to bash this super shield and you pretty much just skip the fight. So the fights aren't exactly hard. Now, if you're, a, I assuming, a lower uh, power level, you probably won't be fighting heroes that have like 240 billion. I at least hope that you wouldn't be fighting them. I feel like they, the game is sort of gearing us against heroes that have half our power. But in saying that, if you do find yourself in a situation where you can't overcome them, uh, that is when we need to start to think about the strategies of what we're deploying. If you notice that you're missing, you're going to have to go with accuracy. If you just want to do more re raw DPS and have better attack, i.e. and sustainability, go attack and defense. Um, I think some of these other ones are pretty fancy though. I'm not going to lie. I, I, do, I do feel like this is not a bad one. Um, this one is quite interesting. During the first three rounds... I think this is going to be a lifesaver. <laughs> the lock HP true damage. I do feel like that's probably something that I would prioritize. If um, if you do have the option to select that one, probably go with that one. And I'm sure that at later stages, they're going to offer potentially better versions of these. 
If they don't, then that's fine. I mean, the, the end result is you're going to have to do this every single day. And every single day you are going to be collecting these resources. Ultimately, it's 15 a day. And what I will say is, I hope that they bring this inkwell thing back to the arms race. I hope they stick it somewhere. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. The only reason being is because I mean I'm sure I'm sure I'm like I'm freaking positive we're gonna get enough of the epics and enough of the legendaries just by doing this crap every single day. But are we gonna get enough of the mythic ones? Um, which is gonna kind of lead us into the next scenario. As you can see, we actually are fighting other players like these aren't i don't believe generics i believe these are actual players um and you can kind of tell by their formations that they are legitimate so i mean granted you you, you might actually fight yourself which is going to be interesting um and of course you do get the library per stack it just comes down to oh st regis okay interesting um, and there you go. That's as high as you can go. That is as high as you can go. And I'll probably want to say this, like in terms of the rewards, you're really just after these sky brushes, right? Everybody knows that you kind of want to be uh, trying to accumulate them every single day. Now, if you fail to accumulate them, I would recommend grabbing these ones every single week. Um, you will need these little tokens up here. So that's the sacrifice you have to make. I would recommend getting these. I would probably not look, look at getting any of the other ones just because it might not be that valuable. Uh, but in saying that, if you were a gambler and you really didn't care, you could try to go for this talisman here. Um, this one is when casting a skill, 30% chance to increase crit of your heroes in the same column by 80% for two rounds. is actually not a bad talisman skill. I mean, it's kind of random. I mean, you could throw it on anyone. Literally, you could throw it on a DPS or whatnot. But these ones do have uh, some of the attack percentages. Um, of course, defense percentages. This one's a little bit different. This one has, I believe... I want to say... Actually, I don't know if it's different. Maybe these are all percentages. I think these are all percentages. And this is like a mixed bag of percentages and raw stats, like the plus 500s and stuff like that. If you are going to do it, um, it means it's a gamble, right? It's like probably a 0.1% chance. I'd say I'd, I'd say it's a 1% chance. It's not a 0.1. It's probably like a 1% chance uh, to land that. I mean, <laughs> if anyone's ballsy enough to do 100 and uh, wants me to do a live pull to see how many we get, that'd be fantastic. But I, I reckon you probably get one every... Um, Probably one every 20 pulls if you have really good RNG. If you've got shitty RNG, probably one every 50 pulls. But like I said, the story is available. And you want to be doing your levels every single day. Don't miss out. Um, where's the ranking though? Let me have a look at the rank, the ranking rewards. Um, that's actually the title is pretty cool. 10% PvP, Unrivaled Valor. Um, I don't think it lasts forever. I can't, maybe it does last forever. Ooh, maybe it does. Probably not. It probably doesn't. Probably has an expiration date. They all seem to have bloody expiration dates these days. Although I could be wrong. No, seven days. I'm like looking at the valid here. So it is only valid for seven days. But you will get one of these selection chests. So um, that's not too bad. Not to mention that you'll be able to get your sky brushes. And of course, uh, 40k of those manuals will have you set for the couple of weeks. Um Currently, though, it looks like it's a cross-server event. So, how many ones have we got? We've got Asian S1s all the way up to Asia S. Asia S, du, 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 which is me. Uh, oh, Godsend. Congratulations. Uh, I feel like I missed, like, a couple of days. I'm not going to lie. I was waiting to do a video. <laughs> I do not care. It'll be fine. I'll be able to clear all these ones uh, once the week finishes. Um, and resets, but like I said, if you get in, I feel like the early bird, the early bird might win it. Um, ooh, does that mean we have to fight these guys? Because this is going to be, um, this is going to be interesting if we have to fight these guys. Yeah, <laughs> we might need those tactics being upgraded, ladies and gentlemen. We may need those tactics upgraded. Um, but in saying that, I mean, I can get as far as... Uh, I could probably beat 
affinity, maybe. <laughs> he can't see them. I could probably get as high as that to beat those guys. So I'm not too worried about that. I am not too worried about it at all. It is just a fun little game feature. Um, but ultimately, you just want to be getting it so that you can upgrade your tactics. Let's go yet again. Let's see what we get. And, you know, it's it's not impressive. <laughs> I'm trying to hype it up, but it's not that impressive. You are needing like a bucket load of these things. How many is that? We need like 300. Oof, we're going to be using all of these. So I guess you could probably level up, like, depending on where you, like, finish, I'm going to say, you can probably level these up, like, one tactic, one mythic tactic um, to level three every week. Uh, and then from then on, then there on, and there on, and such. So you know what I mean. But it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Um, ultimately, you know, everybody's going to be doing it, right? Every single person's going to be doing it. So don't worry if, uh, if don't worry, you know, just, just go with it. Go with the flow. Go with the flow. Hopefully, though, hopefully this means that they may start to introduce the Generation uh, 2 Mythic Tactics somewhere because we all need those freaking tactics. Uh, do you agree with me? I agree with myself. I don't care if you don't agree with me. I agree with me. We want those. Uh, we want the, the Eagle and the Whale. I want those ones on this account and then I can replace some of the crappy ones. Um, I am excited though that they, well, excuse me, I shouldn't say that I'm excited. I feel like this was a no brainer, but, um, yeah, I, uh, I don't know if I want to spend that much on it. I don't know if this was five, eight, eight K. I mean, it was a couple of K. If it was a thousand, two, two or 3,000 less. I'd feel a little bit more comfortable, but the fact is it's like eight K and that's like an, that's an entire event. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, and talking about events, make sure and make sure that if you haven't done so already, uh, you need to have purchased your shards. Most people do this, uh, you know, pretty much straight away. I will be releasing ooh, one shots how to video tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. I'm still trying to track down somebody that actually built uh, where are you? Um, Zhenji. So that'll be interesting to see if anyone actually built her. Like I said, not a lot of players actually play um, Way Nation Endgame, but it'll be interesting to see whether or not we can come up with an account there. Otherwise, I'll just have to do a typical review, which is a little bit sad. Uh, but if you are thinking about it, make sure that you do spend your gold. And of course, make sure you're spending your resources too. You can't take these ones with you, uh, sadly. So you do need to spend them. If you don't know anything to spend them on, just grab this. Just build your index scores. Like, don't stress too much about it. But if you do have a plan, if you're like, ah, oh, maybe I need to start working on my mythics, that's a good idea. Uh, maybe work on your legendaries, another good idea. Um, honestly, though, if you really are doubting anything, just grab this one. And the reason being is everyone loves a good hoe and obviously you need to use all of them. It's probably not a bad idea to grab these ones. Mainly mainly just your advanced crystals. You want to get everyone to dragon and then move on to eagle. You're going to need a bucket load of those ones. And of course, of course, uh, I think at the end of the event, how many can I get out of this? I think I can get like 125. Is it 125? I can get 125 of these shards every day, like every event. I might as well just do it. I'm, I'm realistically not going to spend this on anything else anyway. So what does 125 get us in like reality? Um, I mean, we could work towards a legendary. Like we could try and finish off the seven star sword uh, for the statistic. Honestly, though, I would work on these ones over the seven star swords and stuff like that. Unless you are intending to use them, then absolutely go ahead and use that. I mean, if it's just for the nature of co-op, you're not going to get too much of a power boost for it. You will get a big power boost from your indexes though. So I would recommend doing the indexes. Who do I have that's close? Who do I have that's close? If you want to jump out of the video, feel free to do so. <laughs> I am just seeing whether or not I can upgrade anyone today. I've got Dang Wei. Dang Wei. Alright, well, you know, it's not a bad thing. How many do I need for your mate Dang? Dang Wei. Hmm. Let me have a look how many I've got. Oh, well, I mean, we could do. We could definitely do him. Uh, 
let me have a look to see. So we'll grab you and then we could probably just grab some way ones. Honestly, I don't know why I landed on it, but I landed on uh, Wei as the nation that I wanted to upgrade next. Or did I want to do you? Hmm. Did I want to do Zhan Yu? I mean, how many is that? That's one, two, that's 160, 172. I'll save them because we're like halfway to seven starring that guy. And I mean, it's just for the index scores, of course, like, <laughs> and I don't even think we have enough, um, but that's okay. Like I said, it is free. You're getting free legendaries. Make sure you do it. Oh, we actually got one of these things. All right. Well, before we end the video, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, notification button if you haven't already done so. Jump into the link in the description field below for our Discord. Um, if you do see me on Facebook, don't be afraid to say hello. Maybe, ooh, maybe Max Zero. So... I'm so sorry, Max, but we're going to have to take this one. Uh, but like I said, if you do see me on Facebook, you can add me as a friend. Uh, I'll see the OGs in the comment section down below. Let me know if there's anything you'd like me to cover in the next couple of videos. I might do an updated gold guide because there's so many event rotations coming up. If I was going to speculate, I'd say that it's the Star Light Wish event and maybe the cooking event is coming up next interesting interesting all right then you can let me know in the comment section down below guess whether or not i get a mythic one and i'll tell you for right or wrong after the video anyway until then see you in the next one